The latest James Webb Space Telescope images have wowed the world. And astronomers say they're a significant step for space exploration. News 3's Emily Pike has more. One small step for man, one giant leap into space time. The recent images from the James Webb Space Telescope tells a much bigger story to what is out there. And astronomer specialist Bob Baer with Southern Illinois University says this is much more than just a new finding. It's a confirmation. Looking at those distant galaxies, the light that's coming back towards us is actually going through gra gravitational lensing, so it has this curved effect and people can actually see that. Over 5,000 exoplanets have been confirmed, with the closest being four light years away from Earth. Bob Baer was just starting his career at SIU when the first Hubble images came out. Now, 20 years later, the James Webb Space Telescope provides a new infrared sight. They're imaging it indirectly by looking at a star and looking at the light output from that star. When the planet goes in front of the star, it blocks out a little bit of light and we get what's called a light curve. But the, the really exciting part of it is that they actually discovered water vapor. The telescope is looking out at a dark area of space and using infrared long exposure to see the different light, just from billions of light years away. So what's the big deal? Amazing about finding a planet that has water or had water at one time is that means that that planet's makeup is a little bit similar to ours, or that, say, if one day we're able to travel there, there would actually be water there for us to collect, which is one of the things that is really difficult on space travel is taking along all the resources that you need. When we find water on a planet that's around the same size as ours and far enough away from a star to live on, the other exciting thing about that is it, it could indicate that there's life, life similar to what we have on Earth at least. Bear says now the real work begins. What's really exciting about this to me, um, working on looking at exoplanets myself, is that what we're doing with the Webb telescope looking at the atmospheres of these planets are the first steps at actually finding planets for us to visit someday. Using the infrared and long exposure telescope, how we can begin to find the true evolution of even our own planet and how it came to be, let alone the other planets like ours. But it's the scope of what could be and what is. Reporting from Planet Earth, Emily Pike, News 3. Bear says you might think those images, kind of like the one behind me, look like a computer background. It's actually our neighboring galaxy, and the original image was released by the Hubble Telescope.